So big screens are becoming bigger and more expensive. If you want to buy a 100-inch TV, be ready to spend thousands of dollars. In that case, projectors are probably a better solution. Not only they are portable, but they are also becoming more and more affordable. So this is the VanQ V600 series. This is a native 1080p projector with 4,000 looks of brightness at only $260. Welcome to the channel, guys. This time, we're going to take a look at the VanQ V600 performance projector. So sit back, relax, and let's do this. Inside the box, you'll find a carrying case, the projector and cables. They include an HDMI cord, power cord, an RCA cable, and the remote, which uses two AAA batteries. The projector is well built. It has a remote sensor in the front. It also comes with a lens protector. On top, you'll find knobs for keystone adjustment and focus. There's also the power buttons and the menu on top. On the left side, there's a ventilation. There is also a memory slot, AV and headphones port. In the back, there's a VGA port for PC, another sensor, two USB ports and two HDMI ports and also the power port. At the bottom, there's a mounting holes in case if you want to install this in your ceiling. And there's also an adjustment screw. So I connected the projector with the PS4 Pro via HDMI and I was very surprised how beautiful the picture looked. This is a 1080p resolution, but picture looks very clear. I'm using super sampling on the PS4 Pro, so that also helps. Even if you get closer, the picture remains very sharp. This is a 5000 to 1 contrast ratio, so black levels are also looking very good. Alright, so let's jump into the menus and some gameplay. Alright guys, so let me show you the menus of this projector. So we're going to go into the menu settings. And over here we have picture mode, we have vivid, we can change standard, soft, user, you can customize your picture mode, but I'm going to leave it to vivid right now. And let's go back over here, color temperature, we have options medium, warm, user, you can customize it or cool, we're going to leave it to medium aspect ratio you can have all this you can other also zoom in just in case if you want to noise reduction i have it on high you can change this to medium low or turn it off i have it let's just leave it to middle right now let's go back over here projection direction is in the front you can use it uh, as a rear on desk actually let me see if I can put it rear on desk. Oh, okay. So it flips everything around. So let's just put it in the front. You can put it on the ceiling, rear on ceiling. All right. So reduce display size 100%. No, 75%. Oh, you can change the size over here. All right. So it's 100%, 99%. 98%. No, let's just leave it at 100% right now. And then over here, we go to the left. We have different language. If you want to change the language, right? Restore factory default. Let me see what's happening here. Okay. Blending. What is this? Blending off, blending low, blending. Oh, okay. So this is for the, the menus. If you want to blend with, let's just blend this. Okay. Always the duration of software update sound. Now sound it has standard music, movie, sports, user. I just gonna leave it on standard. Man, I think the sound on this projector sounds very good. As a matter of fact, you can balance the sound, auto volume, and that's it. So these are the settings that you have here with the remote control access. Another cool thing I like is that I don't have to point the controller to the projector. As a matter of fact, I was just using it with my right hand side, not even close pointing it to the projector. So that's very cool. All right, guys, so let's start playing this game. I'm playing Call of Duty Black Ops 3 right here on the PlayStation 4 Pro. And I gotta say my first impression right now is how bright this thing is. It can get super bright. Also, colors look very, very vibrant. I like that. And also, input lag is very low. No, so no problems whatsoever. If you're planning on playing video games with this projector, you're not going to regret it. There is no input lag. 
I just suck playing this game right now. <laughs> but there is no input lag whatsoever. So that that is a big deal when buying a projector. Make sure you have a low input lag. Otherwise, it feels terrible when playing video games, especially like this kind, this kind of games, you know? This is also great for movies. It supports HDCP 1.4. So it's good for 1080p or full HD movies. The built-in speaker is not the best, but I was surprised how loud it can get. If you want to use the projector for work presentations, you can use the VGA port or HDMI. I connected my laptop via HDMI and text look very good. You can see small details even when you get closer, icons look very sharp. This is a 100 inch screen, so this works great for a large group presentations. This is a bright projector and of course, it looks better on a dark room, but you can still have an okay image in a lit room. Overall, this is a solid 1080p projector for $260. Gaming feels good with low input lag and beautiful colors and contrast. The same goes for movies. I was able to get 100 inch of screen from around 10 feet away, so that works for me and it's also good for work presentations. The only thing missing is 3D. 3D movies on projector is so awesome, so I wish it supported 3D. Also, the fan noise is a bit too loud for my taste, especially if you are watching movies, it can be distracting. Other than that, if you're looking for a projector that looks good and won't break your wallet, the VanQ V600 is a great option. So that's it for this video guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification oh, yes. bell so that way you won't miss any of my yeah, upcoming videos. Well. I'm Jolster and I'll see you guys on the next one. Jolster out. I like the sound. It sounds really good. I like that. The only thing I don't like is the, the fan behind the projector. It's very loud for my taste. Oh man. There you go. Oh man, UAV ready. Oh, let's do this guys. I'm liking this projector already. For video games, it works good. Oh man, here we go.